But we begin our report with more dangerous air quality. Millions are under alerts. There you see Chicago on the upper left covered in haze and also right here in New York City, where three weeks ago the sky turned orange. The air is fine now, but expected to reach unhealthy levels in NYC Thursday. We'll have much more on that in just a moment. Meanwhile, another day of severe weather in the Northeast was has caused thousands of flight delays and cancellations ahead of the July 4th weekend. Stranded passengers have been forced to either pay for a hotel or sleep near their gate. CBS News' Errol Barnett is at Newark International Airport with more. Yes, yeah, sir, we have a nose wheel uh, on safe indication. We're going to have to go ahead and declare an emergency. Passengers braced for impact as Delta Flight 1092 skidded to a stop on its nose at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. It sounded like a loud thud and then just scraping of metal. No one was injured. In a statement, Delta apologized, calling it a rare occurrence. Across the country, another type of flight frustration. Severe storms this week forced airlines to delay more than 30,000 flights and cancel nearly 7,000, leaving scores of passengers stranded. I went from Houston to Nashville, Nashville to Baltimore, from Baltimore to Long Island. While trying to stay sane. I almost lost it, actually, that last leg. Exacerbating matters, airline crews out of position and passengers separated from their luggage. I've got three bags that have a lot of valuables in them that have gone somewhere and they have no idea where they are. Meanwhile, customers are left to figure out how to be made whole again. As of right now, how much compensation have you been offered? None. None. Nada. Zip. Zilch. Airlines in the U.S. are not required to reimburse for hotels or meals due to weather. Travel expert Peter Greenberg says consider travel insurance. So if you want to get the insurance, do not opt out of it online. Go to a travel agent, get them to walk you through that policy, or you may be buying, at least in your case, worthless insurance. And Errol joins us live right now. You know, the picture behind you says it all and all of those people that you spoke with. Man, the frustration. But with all of these delays and cancellations, Errol, Already this week, how are airlines and airports across the country preparing for the upcoming holiday weekend rush? Hey there, Jerika. It's a great question, and I think that because of what you see around me, it's less about how airlines are preparing and more about how they will repair their flight schedules with so many pilots, flight crews out of place, passengers stranded, and these folks next to me, they, they all have had their flights canceled. It's the baggage claim line. They're trying to find out where their baggage is, if they can get their hands on it. One gentleman just told me he's been on hold with customer service five hours trying to get to the bottom of his logistics. And so the, the question now becomes for airlines right before we experience Thursday, which mm -hmm. is expected to be the busiest travel day of the holiday weekend for flyers. It's more about how airlines can mitigate the loss and the risk um, with so much chaos, specifically here at Newark and uh, with United passengers, but really all airlines are feeling this punch and crunch right now. Mm, absolutely. And Errol, you know the FAA has warned flying into New York metro area this summer could be a little bit more chaotic than usual. Can you explain why that is? Yeah, I think the FAA is trying to manage expectations. Keep in mind that agency has been without a permanent administrator um, for a number of years. They're temporary administrators right now. They have had staffing issues at control towers. That it has been one component um, of it reducing its ability to do its job. But they have worked with the airlines to reduce some of the slots into and out of airports and requesting that airlines fly fewer planes that can carry more passengers. Um, airlines have tried to um, prepare for this by hiring up during the pandemic. Let's not forget, many of the airlines received uh, billions of dollars of, of funding from the government mm -hmm. um, during COVID. And now um, it's all about trying to demonstrate to paying customers, and you know how uh, frustrating it is to try and get somewhere and have um, the inability of an airline to get you there. Mm -hmm. It's all about delivering on that contract customers have with the airlines. But just a very stressful moment for everyone. You'll need to bring every ounce of patience you can muster for yourself, your friends, your family, and everyone you've ever known. It will be tough out there. Yeah, you know all about that travel life as well, Errol Barnett, with that important information, too, packing yes. your patience from the Newark Liberty International Airport. Thank you, Errol.